Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a huge Hobby Lobby clearance haul because they had a ton of nice clearance items that I just couldn't pass up, especially some Tim Holtz items because I just can't pass up anything really Tim Holtz. But before we just jump into it, just wanna say a few things. One, sorry for the really weird lighting if it should turn from pink hues to yellow hues to whatever it wants to do. We just kinda of have to work with it. Second, my nails are a little icky, but we're working with that too. And the noise in the background, gonna be a continuous theme throughout my videos because the cats like to play. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to remember to say the prices for each item as I show them. Um, they do have the sticker on it. I made sure to keep it on there. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? So first off, I'm just gonna start with stuff that I got that's kind of planner related. First off, I actually, this isn't really planner related, but you know, you could use them in your planner. I got this Paper Studio sticker sheet for Easter because, I don't know, it was only 62 cents, so I thought, why not just get these and store them away for when I need them? And they have some cute little images on there. Yeah, this would be very cute. Then I decided to get from Create365 this self-inking stamp and it's the checklist one. So you can tell right there. Sorry for the glare. And this was $2, which is very nice. And then I decided to go ahead and get these Fabric Castell gelatos and they're, they're like highlighters. So it has a blue, a yellow, a pink, and an orange. And if you can't tell, it was $2.50. And so they show that they they're using it in their planner like for lists or other stuff. <laughs> I'm not a very technical speaker. Uh, so yeah, I thought I would just try these out. I'm not sure I'm gonna really use them for my planners or anything like that, but I'm gonna figure out something to do with them. They're only 250, so I was like, okay, let's do it. For 32 cents each, I just decided to pick up these glitter reinforcements from Heidi Swap. And they're all sparkly and cute. So those will go nice in one of my planners. I did pick up some paper clips because I love my planner paper clips. So these were a dollar each and this one is from the Paper Studio. And so it has some cute unicorns and the crowns. And I actually have some more flea market stuff, um, like clips from them. And I just love them. I think they make some really cute images for them. And then of course I had to grab these foxes because how could you turn these up? These are from the Paper Studio as well. And then I did grab from Heidi Swap um, this like planner stamp set. And it just has some cute little hip sayings like TBH, uh, need more sleep with these cute little eyelashes. Sorry if I can't speak today. Uh, perfectly imperfect and this calls for chocolate. I think we all need a stamp set like this. And then from the Happy Planner, I did come across this sticky notes insert uh, for $1.25. And it just has all these different sticky notes on it and it's already punched out so you can just stick it in any disc system you have. You can even take these off of the little backing they have here and put it and make your own dashboard and put them on there. So I might do that. But I thought for $1.25 it was a good deal. And then of course, who would I be if I didn't pick up some sticker booklets? I mean, come on. So I picked this one up. It's just simple black, gold, whites from Create 365, the Happy Planner. Here's some of the stickers. Sorry for the glare. So yeah, I got that for $1.25. And all these sticker booklets were $1.25. Then I got three sticker booklets from the Paper House. And so one was this sports themed one. I really got it for the soccer balls, but I do occasionally like to watch other different sports. So I figured, you know, maybe in the fall season I do like to watch college sports. I can just put them in my planners. I'm being very distracted. This probably wasn't the best time to do the video, but I figure there's no better time than the present, right? So then I got a budget sticker booklet, which I'm always in desperate need of. And as you could probably tell, it's gonna have like money stickers, has some phone, like you could say your phone bill is due, piggy banks, some of these little like checklist with the money sign on it, some little credit card stickers. So that would come in handy. And then this one was very nice and pretty. It's very tropical, very summery. 
And I actually already have this, but if you know me, you know that I like to double up on sticker booklets. I like to double up on a lot of stuff that I have. And I know there are a lot of you out there who understand. I don't know, I just don't like, I guess I don't like running out of stuff. Especially if it's like having to do with booklets or anything like that. Moving on, I picked up some like more paper crafting items. One of the things that I got was the were these pocket cards. And this one is in a boys club and it was 59 cents, originally $4.99, $5 technically. And I can't remember if I already told you it was from the paper studio or not. I'm losing my mind over here. So here are all the cards that you get inside. And if you couldn't tell, I definitely got it for the soccer ball one. <laughs> But I'm gonna figure out a way to use the rest as well. I might use them in like a collage or something in a traveler's journal. There's that. And then, there's gonna be a lot of and thens and then this and so on and so forth. I did pick up some paper pads. So for $1.50, I thought I'd pick up this chalk paper pad. I actually do have chalk in my craft area. Don't ask me why. I think I bought like a mini little chalkboard and I so I got some chalk at like the Dollar Tree or something to use it with. That's why I thought I'd get this because I did have the materials for it. I don't know really what I'm going to use it for because chalk does smudge. So it's going to have to be something I don't want to be permanent. We're going to have to think about it. Oh, it could be used as like a dashboard and a planner or something. And then like each month I can, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyway, moving along. I did pick up this paper pad, 6x6, which is my favorite size of paper pad, from Echo Park. And this is summer fun, so I'm starting to transition from the winter to like spring and summer with my craft stuff. So anyway, this is called Summer Fun, as I just stated, for $1.50. has some very nice patterns in there. Very bright. I love it. It's kind of taped up at the moment, so I can't really show you too much of the paper. But if you can get a quick glance in there... There's a small sample. I'm guessing you get two sheets of each. So, yeah, so I got that. And then I picked up this paper pad from Webster's Pages for $1.75. It's called A New Day. And here are all the different patterns of paper that you get. And this cute little cat one was obviously my favorite. And I love the pineapple one as well. So I got that. Next, I decided to pick up a few extra travel journal notebooks. So first off from Webster Pages, I got this one. It is a very pretty navy with like floral pattern. It is beautiful. It was $2. So here's what it looks like. I just think this one is gorgeous. It does have two. So the other one is like a pink with stars on it. Um, I'm not as crazy about this one, but this one I was like, yes. So I just thought for $2, I thought I would just get, get it and then work with the other one. I might cover this one with another pattern of my own choosing. And then I did get two different packs from Carpe Diem. So I got this one that has a nice floral little design on the front with the black and white stripes, $2. And then this one on the back, which is like almost like a nice minty blue slash greenish hue with florals. So I thought that was very pretty. I actually have the traveler journals to go with it. That kind of coordinate. And then this one from Carpe Diem as well. So it just says hello. And I'm going to guess it says hello today or something like that. Moving on, I did get quite a few dies, which I am very happy about. To start off, I did get two different embossing folders because I think embossing folders can really add a nice kind of texture and look to a card. So I got this one for $1.25 from Sizzix and like Tim Holtz. I should have put this in the Tim Holtz pile, but I didn't. And it's just this floral one, as you can see. So here's what it looks like on the back. I thought that would just be nice. And then I love the Sizzix 3D textured impressions. They give really nice like imprint embossed look. And so this one is snowflakes. And yes, I am transitioning, but I thought for $2, why not just grab this for next season? So here's what they look like. They're awesome. Those and the We Are Memory Keepers embossing folders I really love as well. And then from Spellbinders, I got this congratulations pop-up. So here's what it looks like. 
I thought that's pretty cool. So you put this, I think it like pops up in like the middle of your card or you can put it on the front. I don't know, I've never had one of the Spellbinder pop-up dies before, so I'm gonna have to fill it with it. But I thought that would be cool to grab for $2.15. And then for $3.75, I decided to grab this unicorn one. Now, funny story with this, well, I'm not sure it's funny, but I thought I would just tell you anyway. I actually had ordered this online and the people who sent it to me sent the wrong die. But I'm one of those people who kind of just, I don't know, I don't like to create hassles even though I'm sure they wouldn't have minded. I just don't like to be a bother. So I didn't return it. I mean, I actually liked what they sent. It just wasn't the right thing. So I kind of just dealt with that. And then I saw this in the Hobby Lobby clearance section. And I was like, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I got another cool one. And then I found this one, it was Faith. So I was really excited about that. And if that all made sense, I hope it did. And then from Momenta, I decided to get these. They were all $2.50. I got this numbers one because I feel like you can never have too many number dies and different fonts and stuff like that. Uh, just because they do come in handy a lot for anniversaries, celebrations, countdowns, anything. You could put them in your planner as well. So I just decided to get a simple number die set. And then I got this one for kind of Valentine's Day in mind. You could use these for any occasion. But I just thought I'd get these. I actually really like these like linked heart ones. And then the solo ones. And then I decided to get this moon star set i thought this would be cute for like a night sky look i don't know exactly when i would get like a give like a night sky card but i don't know maybe for a birthday like make a wish and then i decided to get this floral die set so here is this one from Sizzix for a dollar 75 i decided to get this thinlet set that's really about like thanks Here's this one, and then this is what you get inside right here. Hopefully you can see that. And then it just gives you a little look on the, of what they look like. Also from Memento, oh, this one actually was probably one of my favorite purchases. It was this die set um, that has all these hearts on it, which would be very cute for Valentine's Day. And I feel like if this would be like in the front of your card, you can make a couple of these and a couple of these and layer them or maybe do like acetate behind it and then make it into like a shaker card. I don't know, but I thought it would be really cool to work with. So I was excited about that. And you can use the negatives from that and then like whatever, the, all the hearts you can use as like confetti. You could put it as like a shaker card or something. I don't know, many ideas. But this was $3.25, so I thought I'd grab it. I did get some clearance stuff that had to do with Christmas. So I did get this Sizzix one that cut out like a 3D Christmas tree. You can see it has like dimension there where some of the tree pops out at you. This is what you get inside. I know it's very small to see, but hopefully you can get the gist of what it is. Here's the die on the back. Also from Sizzix, I decided just to get these framelits. And what is this one called? I forgot what this one is called specifically. Elegant number two labels. You could probably have them going this way or this way, whichever you wanted to. And here's an example of someone using it on the back. So this was $3.25. And then from Spellbinders, for $5, I decided to get this set of alphabet dies with the numbers. Just because, like I said before, I feel like you can never have too many alpha dies or number dies. It's just kind of a staple that I feel like you might want in your collection. So got that. So up next, I decided to get from Art C this Stampin' Die set for $3.25. It came with this cute little fox and owl and a butterfly and a flower and a leaf. And this I thought actually might be good for fall. I mean, depending on what colors you use to like color in your stamped image, then you could use it for any season, I'm sure. Uh, but I had fall in mind for this. This is again for like the Christmas, winter holiday season. For $2.50, I got this like Peace Dove stamp and die set. You can see right here. And so I just loved that. And then from Sizzix as well, the last two dice are from Sizzix. 
I got this Merry Christmas one. It's called a Framelit Drop-In. Again, I don't never worked with this before, but I, it looked very interesting, so I thought, why not? It was $5.50, so it just cuts out Merry Christmas. This is what it looks like. I thought I'd give that a try. And then I did pick this up and it's a Stampin' Die set. I really mainly got it for all these different tags, uh, which I thought was great for $7.50. If you can get nesting dies, it's a good investment because you get a lot out of it, but they can be a little more pricey depending on where you buy it. Last but not least, I know this is getting to be a bit of a long video. I just felt compelled that I really wanted to show you these just in case you wanted to go to your Hobby Lobby and see what you had or whatnot. So now moving on to my one of my very favorite brands and that is Tim Holtz. Love Tim Holtz. Okay, so this first thing is gonna be a little bit of a random selection. I just felt like I could use it in some way, some cool way, either crafting or if I wash it out very nicely, maybe I could store food in it. I don't know. And I've been really wanting some mason jars, so without further ado, I got this mason jar set of three. Um, they're the mini mason jars from Tim Holtz. They were $1.75 and they usually go for nine bucks. I thought, hey, why not? They do have this thing that says vintage quality on it. I mean, I don't really care what it had on it, but I just thought for $1.75, hey, let me turn these into something. So I thought I'd pick that up. I picked up some like little tools. So first off, I did pick up these Distress Paint Replacement Dabber Tops. And it says dabber tops, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use them with these or not, but it was a dollar, so I figured why not. And then I got five of these distressed paints, but I don't think they're dabbers. So I'm not sure if I can use that with these or not. We're gonna have to see, but I got abandoned coral, fossilized amber, lucky clover, so I kind of got like primary colors, blueprint sketch, and then twisted citron, which I always find is a fun color. And these were each a dollar. And then I just actually decided to head back just because temptation got the better of me. And I went back the other day because I kind of had this stuff in a box waiting to do this video. Why I didn't do it, I don't know, I just didn't. But I had gone back and my shelves were all cleared, like people like ransacked the place. So I was lucky to pick these up. But then I decided to get some of these collage brushes for a dollar. So here's this one, it's just a collage brush. And then I did get the splatter brush and it's basically for what it says. You can just dip it into paint and then flick it and it puts splatters everywhere. Then. I got this collage brush. It's just another collage brush in a different size. And this was $1.50. Oh, and the splatter brush was $2. Oops, sorry. Okay, because I love different mediums and I like to just play around with stuff, I decided to get these kits. So I got two of them. So I got this one, which was $6.25, and this was the Distress Crayon Watercolor Kit. And it came with a set of crayons, which I took out. So I believe it came with this set. I wanted these because I actually, before I went, did not have any Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. It has some, it comes with a paintbrush. I'll probably use one of my own. Sheets of Distress Watercolor, Technique Booklet, Acrylic Block, can never have too many of those, Clear Stamp Set, Mini Distress Archival Ink Pad, and Distress Crayons. I think I'll probably just separate the kit and put them in my different areas. So yeah, decided to get that. And then for $6.25 as well, I decided to get the Distress Mixed Media Spray Stain Kit. That's a mouthful. And this I just got because it just intrigued me. So in here it comes with a mini Distress Spray Stain, a mini Texture Paste, Palette Knife, Mini Mister, Custom Stencil, Sheets of Mixed Media Cardstock, eight manila tags, and <clears throat> one technique booklet. I thought that would be pretty interesting to try. And then I did get just on their own another thing of distressed crayons. So this one's like the pretty much the simple primary color one. And then I went kind of ham on some of his other stuff. So I did get a couple of dies. I did get another alpha and 
number die set, which I like. And this one was $5 and it usually goes for $20. And I just love it because not only is it just, you know, typical alphabet and numbers, but they have of the letters they have multiples of some of them which is always nice so this one like for example it has four m's five n's six o's four l's stuff like that i thought this was very nice to find i did pick up some christmas dyes so these are some thinlets they almost look like you could definitely put them in your planner so it just has like some cocoa mug a little calendar gingerbread man, a stocking, tree, snowflake, candy cane, ornament, and like a present, and a snowman, and Santa. Good old Saint Nick himself. This was $3.75, and it usually goes for $15. So I thought that was a very good sale. Along with that, I did get this simple Merry Christmas. I love the font on this, the script. And this was $2.50, usually $10. I thought that would just be a nice die to have. And then I did pick up two of his sticker booklets, the chatter ones. So I got this one in a big chat. You can see here. Which I love because these are actually great for travel journals. So I got those. Then I got the one in Chit Chat. And this one has nice craft ones. It just has nice like phrases or words on it. And then, oh, I decided to pick up two of his, I decided to save my favorite for last. Um, two of his foam die sets. Now, I never tried any of his foam dies. Oh, not foam dies, what am I talking about? Foam stamps. And so I got the uppercase and the lowercase. And they are both $2.75, which is a great deal. They both usually go for $11. And I don't know, I thought I'd give them a try. I just liked them. So yeah, and then this is what they look like ooh, on the back. So I got those two. And then oh, my favorite, probably some of my favorite purchases of this whole haul were these Sizzix Tim Holtz dies, um, which were the dogs and the cats. So I got the dog set and the cat set, which ugh, I was so happy to find there. They're both $5, usually going for $20. And so I got this one with the dogs on it. It's kind of hard to see, but here's the stamp set. And then they have an embossing folder and the included dies with it, which I just love when brands do that. And then here, is the cat set as you can see hopefully and oh just love it just love it and here's an idea of what you can do with them on the back so very cute and that is everything that i got from hobby lobby oh if you're still here at the end of this video Give yourself a big pat on the back and head to your Hobby Lobby for a treat <laughs> because you definitely deserve it for sitting through that. Thank you for watching this. Uh, there are some great deals. I definitely recommend you heading to your Hobby Lobby and seeing what they have because I was very pleasantly surprised with what my Hobby Lobby had. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.